PK Gam presents a walkthrough that should have been done years ago, but couldn't because of technical issues. Like this. A walkthrough that needs no introduction because its name is in the video title. But here's an intro anyway. Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. Let's get the game started here by selecting a new save file. Don't mind number three there, I was just testing some stuff. <laughs> One player and let's go to the Gangplank Galleon, the first area of the game. And start the first level of the game, Pirate Panic. Needless to say, this follows Diddy Kong here, which is the character I'm jumping as here by pressing the B button, which I will also explain the controls, of course, since this is a walkthrough after all. B button jumps, Y button does a cartwheel, which you can use to attack enemies. Holding the Y button also lets you run. You can run and jump, of course. I'm pretty much going to be holding the Y button the whole way, and I can pause the game with the start button, but why would I want to do that? <laughs> That's all I can really show you right now, aside from the D-pad, which is used to move, obviously. Anyway, let's check this note, and... Oh, Donkey Kong is kidnapped. And we gotta get him back. That's the plot of the game, basically. <laughs> yeah, Donkey Kong is this game's Princess Peach. This uh, balloon here is an extra life. Their value depends on their color. So, yeah, the red ones are one, and I'll show you the other colors as I go. That little enemy that I knocked over there, well, jumped on, not really knocked over, was Neek, a little mouse, a very common enemy. Holding the Y button will let you pick up stuff, which is essential to 100% in this game. Releasing it will let you throw the stuff. And I got a little buddy here, and her name is Dixie Kong. Woohoo! And she will follow your every movement. Pressing the select button, you can switch control. And if you jump and press the Y button, she's got a little helicopter floating dealio thing, which is really, really handy for certain things. You probably notice this banana trail up at the top there. 100 bananas will give you a 1-up as well, but if you press the A button and then throw your buddy up there with the Y button, you'll be shot through a barrel cannon and collect the banana coin. That, those banana coins are like the game's currency for certain things, so they, you definitely want to collect a lot of them, and I'll, I'll show you why as I go. This next enemy here is a very, very simple enemy known as Clomp. It's... well, it's level 1, so <laughs> I don't expect anything too complicated, after all. These uh, uh, Kong letters, K-O-N-G, there's four in each level, and collecting all four will give you a 1-up. You can't break uh, Donkey Kong barrels floating in midair if you've already got a partner. You can only have up to one partner. It, it's basically, it follows the adventures of Diddy and Dixie here, and it's hinting, press the A button, which I already showed. <laughs> Alright, moving on. I'm just gonna skip the enemies. And, well, for the most part. This star barrel that's spinning here is a checkpoint barrel, so if you die, it'll resume from this spot. You can pick up Donkey Kong barrels, even if you have a partner, though, if, if they're, like, standing on the ground like that. Uh, down here, oh, oh, I wonder if there's a secret, oh, 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 dear. And that's gonna shoot me through the letter N. And there's bonus areas scattered throughout here, it's throughout the levels, of which you can use to collect creme coins. And, uh, obviously, the objective of this one is to get the coin. Wow, that was so hard. <laughs> And in order to get 100%, you're going to have to collect all the coins. Uh, I'll show you how to know if you've got all the coins in the level after I beat this level. And I've got a little buddy here known as Rambi. His controls are pretty much the same aside from... Oh, well, you're a new enemy I didn't show. That is an enemy known as Clobber. It, it's a surprise enemy inside barrels. And you can headbutt enemies like so with your horn. And you can also hold the A button to do a charge attack as demonstrated here. Woo! And if you didn't see that there, there was an arrow, which is indicating that you should break through this wall with your charge attack. And another bonus zone! Gotta destroy them all! That's not Pokemon's slogan. Oh, pfft. That was a fantastic start to a walkthrough, isn't it? 
<laughs> Luckily, you can retry most bonus areas like right away just by crashing into them again or finding the barrel again. Okay, I'm gonna actually try this time. That trying is good. It's it's how you win. <laughs> there we go. That's not that hard, is it? <laughs> Can't believe I fail in the second bonus area of the game. Good lord. <laughs> Uh, Donkey Kong coins, there, there's one hidden in each level as well, and you also gotta get all of them for 100%. Got all four Kong letters there, and look at that, I got an extra life for him, just as promised. Can I crash through this door here like I was able to do on the other one? No, I guess not. Um, whenever you see this no insert animal here sign, like this one's Rambi sign, when you touch the sign, or go past the sign, you'll get a prize for bringing the animal to that point, and the animal will vanish. That was a green balloon, which gives you two one-ups. At the end of the level, you'll see a little stop the roulette sort of dealio here, and you can choose your prize by jumping on the target at the right time. You have to have some height on your jump, otherwise the barrel will not make it to the top, which is why I'm standing on this barrel. I am over-explaining things, so I'm just going to aim for the one-up and show you how it's done. I love that. <laughs> Each one has their own little ditty, so to speak. Oh yeah, I just made a pun there, depending on the level and the music and stuff like that. Alright, now here's how you can tell if you found everything in a level. If you found all the bonus areas in a level, you will see an exclamation point after the level's name. If you've got Donkey Kong coin, you'll see the Donkey Kong coin next to the level's name. See that? No exclamation point or Donkey Kong coin here, but it's I got it there because I collected everything in the first level. Yay! Next level, main brace mayhem, and that's that's click clack there. It's a enemy that you can jump on and then pick up and throw around at other enemies. But if you just I was I wasn't done explaining. <laughs> but if you just throw it and it hits the ground, it'll recover. And anyway, I'm gonna switch buddies here. You'll notice that there's an arrow down here. Ooh, oh yeah, bonus barrel time. Boop. Yeah, you gotta scour the levels high and low in order to find all the tokens. Yeah, gotta get the tokens. Oh, I should have changed to Diddy because Diddy is the faster climber in comparison to, to Dixie. But either or can do the bonus stages just fine. But uh, yeah, each character has their own traits as well, which I'll get into gradually as I go. And she picks up barrels with her ponytail, which is a different property in on itself because you can hit enemies above you easier than Diddy, which carries the barrel in front of him. Anyway, that looks pretty silly. <laughs> uh, up there, I can't get that at the moment. Oh, I can now show you the properties of this as well. If you jump on it again, it'll kill it. And I, I already showed that uh, it'll, all, it'll recover if you leave it alone or if you just throw it at the ground that doesn't hit anything. Uh, that enemy there is a clinger, and they just have a very simple climbing pattern, as you can tell there. Though their pattern varies depending on where they are and which kind they are. Yeah, there's different variations of enemies in the game that you gotta look out for, so just because you see the same kind of enemy doesn't mean it's actually the same enemy. Anyway, I'm gonna jump down here because... and I missed the coin. <laughs> just wanted to show you how to get to the coin, just for the... Oh, poopers. When you take a hit, whatever monkey you have out is going to go back into their barrels. Yeah. And I see the easier way to get to the coin here. My bad. <laughs> I should have been paying more attention, but that's okay. Kill them all. Yeah. And somehow I pressed down there on my Xbox pad. <laughs> And notice that there's a banana floating in the air there. I'm going to show you what that is in just a second, but I'd first like to show you what's down here. Actually, there's... <laughs> I am playing terrible for a first part. Yeah, there's a hidden barrel there that'll shoot you up here. The barrels even have different properties. Like an arrow barrel like that will shoot you in the direction of the barrel, obviously. And there's some automatic I mean, kinds of barrels and non-automatic kinds of barrels of which you have to shoot manually. I'll get into all those as I go. I am over explaining things like crazy, but eh, when don't I do that in the first part? You know what? That N is not worth it. <laughs> at least not when I have a partner. Uh, some levels have cannonballs like this. You can throw them at enemies and they will not break because they're solid iron, dang it. But they're, mo they're, but they're a very important thing that you do not want to lose because when, when you throw it in their uh, corresponding cannon and go into the cannon, it's a bonus! Woo! 
and of course, as I said, gotta collect all the coins if you want to 100%. And uh, maybe I'll show you what's up here. There's a couple of... there's a crate and a barrel up on this one. Oh, no, 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 don't get hit. I'm clinging to stuff I don't want to cling to. <laughs> I just want to show you around the bonus area, and I'm failing to do so, and whatever. As long as I don't die, I suppose. <laughs> and I collected the coin because it appeared right where I was. Handy! Alright, I'm gonna carefully make my way through the rest of this stage, and by carefully I mean I'm gonna ram my face into everything, because that's just how things seem to be going here. <laughs> There's the letter G. I already showed you where the N was, but I just didn't feel like getting it, as I explained before. Mm carefully do not die this early in the game and wait that's there's not a hook there i was expecting there to be a hook oh i need my buddy or i got a cartwheel across the top of there oh poopers i guess i'm gonna have to come back through here aren't i <laughs> my bad and no oh, i even missed the extra life wow i just sucked that level terribly <laughs> all right i'm gonna take a run back through that level because I'm not quite finished there I even missed a Donkey Kong coin there which is in another location I'm just gonna when you're not like searching every inch of the place you can ret ran ran you can run through things rather quickly which is what I intend on doing here for the most part in other in fact I should probably actually use a cut here <laughs> All right, I'm back to the spot here, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I still missed the Donkey Kong coin somewhere. I must have forgotten where it was, unless it's just higher up. Anyway, in this bonus game variation, you gotta collect all the stars, and it's completely self-explanatory. <laughs> so collect all the stars within the time limit. Go, 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 go. I believe in you, Dixie, even though you're the slower climber because this is early in the game and I'm getting overly excited for absolutely nothing because that was really easy. <laughs> and you get shot out the top here, which has the stuff. Ah, there we go. There's the Donkey Kong coin. The only way to get up here is indeed to play that bonus game, which is why I missed the Donkey Kong coin. And blind jump? Oh, sure. The blind jump, I get the one up of all times. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to play one more level this part. I exclamation pointed and Donkey Kong coined that level. Yeah, I just made up my own terms there. Well, I guess I'll show you the Monkey Museum first. Meet Cranky Kong! You probably remember him from the first game. And you can actually buy hints from him. He'll tell you hints how to defeat enemies and stuff, like find bonus areas and whatnot. But for the most part, I'm probably going to be conserving my coins just because I'm kind of stubborn and like to try to find stuff on my own. <laughs> I've 100 percent in this game before, but it's been a long time since I've done so, so I'm going to have to uh, re-remember how to do stuff, so to speak, and, you know, refine stuff as I go. <laughs> He's breaking the fourth wall there, and that could cause the universe to implode, so perhaps... We shouldn't be listening to him whatsoever. There's a couple of hints that you can buy for free from him uh, right off the start, which I'll probably quote unquote buy just for the sake of showing that. So, yeah. And he'll tell you try using your team throughout the start, which I already showed. <laughs> Below the letter K, you'll find a reward if you avoid the danger. Oh, I should be using like an old man voice. Jump for joy when crossing the large. The longest horizontal rope. Okay, that's better. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save my coins for something else. Because I'm gonna need coins to actually save my game. You need two coins to save your game. Uh, when you get to a different character a little bit later on. But anyway, gang, plank galley, let's start! And right off the start here... Yep, bonus zone. Well, bonus area. Never really gave you enough time to really think about enjoying the music, have did I? Which one of these has it? Which? Oh, of course it's gonna be the last one. <laughs> that enemy there is a zinger, and the red ones cannot be destroyed by most means. That's why I was able to just blast it with those treasure chests over and over, and it completely was it impervious. There's a couple of oh shoot, didn't I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Dang, 
D-pad, and now I can't get to that without my buddy. Buddy! There you are. <laughs> so, yeah, I need Dixie to swap over. <laughs> Dang, Xbox D-pad always failing me. I miss using the SNES controller. I'm, yeah, I'm playing this on an emulator because I can't seem to find a way to record my SNES with my current recording setup. By the way, that enemy I just destroyed there was a Kaboing. They have peg legs that are actually spring-loaded. Pretty silly enemy, and there's really, really odd variations of them later on, as you'll see as I go. Anyway, moving on. And letter K is in plain sight. <laughs> uh, isn't there... I thought the... I was thinking of something else. Never mind. Uh, oh, I wasn't paying attention to what was in that chest at all, was I? <laughs> well, there's a one up in there. Not that I need many lives. I mean, I've already got a bunch of lives so far. Mm, although, I shouldn't say that. The later levels in this game get ridiculously difficult, and I am playing pretty dang badly. <laughs> I should be throwing stuff at the walls, too, because sometimes the walls contain holes in them that you can break apart by uh, uh, smashing things into them. And uh, that enemy up there is a rather tough enemy known as Cruncha. You can jump on it with... Yeah! <laughs> it just ticks it off. The only way to kill it with uh, your monkey buddies here is to smash it with a crate, a box, or chest, or something like that. Like the like that, as I just did there. Uh, I believe there's a hole somewhere that I can jump down. Oh, that like exclamation point barrel is invincibility! Go, guys, go! Actually, I really gotta hurry because I gotta get up here before I'm not able to, because there's a bonus area. I just remembered that, at least. My memory didn't completely fail me. <laughs> Reach the token! Go! Go! I'm just holding the direction I need to go and just jumping, like holding the jump button as long as I need to to get there. It's it's a no-brainer really because everything's like automatic as long as you're aiming for wherever the hooks are in that bonus area. And I think I'm near the end. Yes, I am. Should I aim for the coin or the one-up? Maybe the coin because currency seems more important to me at this point. Yeah! Oh yeah! That never gets old. And I 100% of that level. And uh, this is where I can save my game officially. This is at Kong College, of which you'll find Wrinkly Kong. Yeah, she is headmistress here at Kong College. That's that's quite the complicated college there. If you look at the, uh, the, the complex equations on the board. <laughs> well, I, I, guess, I guess they're gorillas. So you can't really ask much of them. <laughs> she will also give you um, little hints as well, but I can save my game right now for free, but after that, I'm gonna have to pay for it, unfortunately. See that? Now I have to pay two two coins to save my game. Curses! <sighs> Let's see what Kong Family Coins has to say. I mean, what she has to say about Kong Family Coins, excuse me. Yeah, I already mentioned that if you weren't paying attention to the video there, Wink Wrinkly Kong. <laughs> That, that's something that's coming up, which I'll be showing you when I get there. And yeah, I already showed that as well. I'm not didn't I already showed that. That's holding the A button. That's also that's pressing the A button when you're not on an animal. That is the boss. I'm leaving. You have nothing good to say. <laughs> and with that, I think I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I start Lockjaw's Locker.